Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot some problems on MEW using your Ledger Nano X. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on uh, M my Ether Wallet, and I'm trying to log in using my Ledger Nano X. My Ledger Nano X is connected and I have the Ethereum app open. And so normally when you click access wallet, choose hardware, ledger, and continue, and then choose the ledger live option, which is uh, appropriate for uh, Ledger Nano X that's been uh, initialized using ledger live. We'll hit next. I'm getting this Windows security alert and I'm not able to log in. And so I'm a little confused why this is occurring. So I found, uh, I tried a different browser, of course. That was, that's my first troubleshooting step. And I'm pretty much getting the same thing in uh, Chrome. I was using Brave there at the beginning. So we'll do the same thing in Chrome. And now it's a Windows security issue. Uh, or it's a Windows security alert uh, coming from Chrome rather than Brave this time right same weird message so uh, I did a little poking around and uh, this is a known issue and uh, this is a post on reddit about this particular issue and uh, here's a reply that says that it is a ledger issue with Windows update so uh, I followed this link over here and so it is a problem with uh, Windows 1903 right? Uh, I recently updated to the latest version of Windows. I was a uh, hanging on to uh, version 1803 for quite some time. Uh, I'm actually on 1909, I believe. Check. You can right click on your Windows uh, icon down in the right corner and just go to system. And then scroll down a little bit. It'll tell you which version of Windows you're running here. So I'm running a 1909. So apparently that's a, the, uh, that Windows update is causing this issue. So Ledger's uh, advice here is to reinstall the Ledger uh, apps, right? All right, so uh, let's check that out. I am running the latest version of Ledger Live, all right? So I can go over to the gear icon here, go to about, and I can see that I'm already running the latest version of Ledger Live, right? So that's not the issue. Uh, let's go over here to Manager. And I need to connect my device to my computer. Uh, I'll need to exit that Ethereum app, right? So let's get out of the Ethereum app. I'll hit Quit here. I need to be at the home screen. And it's probably going to ask me to allow Ledger Manager, which I'll do with both buttons. And let's get into the uh, Manager app. Ah, OK, so there is an update I need here. Let's see what that, well, it's XRP. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and hit update all, but I'm not sure that that's gonna solve my issue here, but I'll, I'll go ahead and try it, because uh, the XRP is not the issue here, it's the Ethereum app. Now I could also, while that's going along, I could look at my Ethereum app, right? So uh, I can go into my Ethereum app. And just switch over. Look at the version I'm running. 1.2.11. Right? Let's get out of that. Remember that. 1.2.11. Uh, so apparently I'm running the latest version of the Ethereum app. Right, so, um, but I'm still having this issue. Let's check it out. Uh, Ethereum, uh, we'll go into the Ethereum app. All right, we'll go into hardware here. I'll choose Ledger. I'll choose uh, Ethereum Ledger Live. Hit next. Still getting that. Aha! Well, there it, it just came up. <laughs> well, that was weird. Get, I'm going to go back over to accounts. I want. The Ethereum main account. I have multiple uh, ledger accounts. 
I'm sorry, I have multiple Ethereum accounts. And this one is the one I want to check, right? Ethereum main. It's got 0 0.09717. So uh, this one, right? So we'll click that. We'll uh, tick this off. We'll hit access my wallet. And I appear to be in. It was weird that I had to update uh, all of the apps. Uh, and it was the XRP app. So maybe there were some other internal things that were going on underneath the hood. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Uh, now, also, uh, you might want to double check uh, this article. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, where it, uh, over here, it talks about, oh, I'm sorry. Here, it, it goes into some more uh, detail that if you're trying to send some crypto out from the wallet using uh, my Ether wallet, you will need to sort of move that uh, security alert to the side and continue. Why don't, for the sake of argument, I, I'll move some bat from one place to another, right? So uh, kind of try to stay with me here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use this other account that is not associated with this ledger device. And I'm going to do a receive. I don't have that other ledger attached, so I'm just going to get the uh, ERC20 token address of this wallet, right? That's my Ethereum PP account. And I'll go back over here to uh, my Ether wallet, and I'm going to go to send, right? And I'm going to send uh, some Ethereum, or I'm going to send some uh, BAT token out, right? And I'm just going to send 100, just a small amount, and the address will be that other account. Right? I'm se sending it from one place to another. Um, I'm probably going to spend more than I really need to doing this, but I just want to walk you through this. So I'm going to hit send transaction. Ah, see there, uh, it's in the way, right? So, but I can click on it right here and just pull it to the side. And uh, now I need to confirm on my device, right? So you can see there it's asking me to review the transaction. That's the amount of bat I'm sending. Sorry, this is hard to see. I didn't get my secondary camera set up. I'm just kind of doing this one on the fly. There's my accept and send. I'll click that. Right, and then I can do my confirm and send here. And uh, I managed to get that transaction out. All right, so this is a Windows issue. Uh, with the latest version of Windows, uh, a lot of people out there may not be experiencing this because you're not running the latest version of Windows. But uh, a lot of you may be because Windows is kind of forcing these upgrades on us now. So if you're having that issue, this is the workaround. Just run back over to uh, Ledger Live into the manager, update your apps. And then uh, if you have to move that little security box out of the way when you're sending out, do it, right? It's not a big deal. We got around it. All right, so if you have any questions about anything that I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my very best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.